I really don't know how it got started. I know my aunt opened it. Uh, she made up the name. She had it, like I, I know, over 50 years. Then she gave it to my mother. My mother had it for maybe like 25 years. Probably a little bit more than that. Yeah, I worked with her 13 of those years. And then my mother retired. She waited for me to grow up a little bit. <laughs> and then she gave it to me. I get up at two in the morning. I'm here at three. I'm doing breakfast at three in the morning. I have all of that cooking at the same time. Everything is fresh. I cook everything every day. In order for it to be fresh, you gotta get here early. Little season. See, they don't know what else is in there, bro. Nothing is, nothing is from the can except maybe some apples. Everything is fresh, everything. The meat, we have companies that my aunt has worked for and my mother used the same company and we just got a good reputation with them. You want your eggs? No, nah, I'm just going to do with that today. There you have it. Our customers have been with us the whole way. The same ones my aunt had, my mother's had, I've had. I treat them like they're family. They're one of my families. I worry about them if they're sick. It, I have BCs and Tylenols. I have cold medicine back here. If they're not feeling good. You don't feel good today? I got a headache. You want, you want some Tylenol? I mean, I pay attention to my customers. My customers are very important to me. Very important to me. I have a 96-year-old customer, his name is George Patton, and he's having trouble driving and, you know, just getting a little weak. So I told him I'd bring him his food every day. So every day I take him a meal. How you doing, baby? That's him right there. That's Mr. George Patton. Not everybody has family, and I want to make sure that he does have something to eat. The customer is very important to me, and I want them to come back. And I want them to say, well, that's a place I can come back and be comfortable at. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you. Because you never, you never know what somebody's day is like. You never, you don't know what they had, what kind of day they had before they came in here. Why not make this the best experience that they can have? You know what I'm saying? I just love what I do. I, I mean, it's my passion.